learning of computer networks and security we are going to start with the module 5 that is multimedia networking let's see the comparison between all the three streaming techniques so UDP streaming HTTP streaming and adaptive HTTP streaming so in the previous con video we had seen uh, uh, what exactly is streaming stored video concept so wherein I highlighted on HTTP streaming technique so I did not give the comparison between all the three streaming techniques now here in this video let's see the comparison between all the three techniques so let's start with the UDP streaming technique first here we'll see the UDP streaming technique so in UDP streaming technique actually we have uh, three things which you have to remember so I hope now you know what is HTTP streaming technique so with that the basics is clear so in UDP streaming technique actually uh, UDP is underlying protocol uh, rather than TCP and here you have a server and then the client as usual so client here will send first the request to the server and if the server is not busy uh, server will be sending the requested video file so here whenever the video file is sent from the server to the client so first thing is uh, here read the uh, here the server should encapsulate the video and send so not as it is first he has to encapsulate encapsulate is the video should be embedded inside a uh, segment or inside a datagram so encapsulation takes place then the server is now receiving upon receiving he has to decapsulate it right so here at the client side a small buffer is maintained so compared to HTTP small client side buffer is maintained at the client side and uh, here moreover one more thing is the client uh, can interact with the server so interaction takes place uh, something like you know we have a play button we can have pause button fast forward rewind so all those interactivity what the client can do that is all he can do using a separate connection so here for the video file for the for sending the actual data transfer or uh, you know for the uh, sending for sending of a video file the separate connection is used and for doing this in for interaction purpose or for interactivity purpose a separate connection is used okay so here play pause everything that is happening over the separate parallel connection so for uh, you know for dealing with these uh, different interactive features server server is going to take an extra burden here so for that actually a separate server is maintained so the separate server is only for the client's interaction purpose so suppose if the client wants to pause first the request is sent to this server and from the server now accordingly uh, you know the actual server will uh, uh, you know send the bytes next action will be taken up by the actual server right so the separate server is maintained for dealing only with this uh, interactive interaction uh, that the client is trying to make okay and this uh, all the things are happening over udp transport layer protocol okay and uh, moreover this data transfer whatever is happening it is happening through rtp so rtp is a protocol what we have and uh, using which you know uh, the data encapsulated data or the video file is transferred so this is actually happening in udp streaming so here uh, the sending rate often the sending rate and the uh, encoding rate and uh, you know it should be matching it should be happening in the constant rate suppose if the sending rate is uh, uh, it is uh, 2 mbps say if it is 2 mbps and here uh, suppose a udp packet a UDP packet or a UDP datagram if it is ca uh, carrying 8000 bits within it if it is carrying 8000 bits then the server has to decide there so you can just see here okay instead of taking this as uh, server sending rate let me take it as clients uh, playing rate okay clients consumption rate so clients play out pay, uh, uh, rate or clients consumption rate let me take it as 2 MB 
सो टू एम बी पर सेकेंड टू मेगा बाइट्स पर सेकेंड एंड इफ अ यू डी पी डेटाग्राम और अ पैकेट कंटेन्स एट थाउजेंड बिट्स एट थाउजेंड बिट्स देन वॉट शुड बी द सर्वर सेंडिंग रेट हियर सो यू डी पी सर्वर सेंडिंग रेट शुड बी यू नो इक्वल टू एट थाउजेंड एट थाउजेंड बिट्स एट थाउजेंड बिट्स फॉर एवरी uh you know you can say for every 2 megabits of data suppose if the consumption rate is 2 megabits 2 megabits per data okay uh, 2 megabits per second and if every udp packet carries 8000 bits total then the time taken by the server time taken by the server to send this single packet which contains 8000 bits should be 4 millisecond so for every 4 milliseconds he has to the server has to send 8000 bits or he has to send one udp datagram correct so for every 4 milliseconds he has to at least send one udp datagram so that client's playing rate client's consumption rate will match with the sender's sending rate server's sending rate so this is one small example to have the constant uh, sending rate and the receiving rate there so this is actually happening in udp and the major drawback in udp is this uh, interactivity for this interactivity thing a separate server should be maintained and if this server crashes there in no interaction between client and server so that is a major drawback and one more thing is the varying uh, bandwidth since there is varying bandwidth between server and client so this uh, interactivity or uh, this uh, sending and the consumption rate will vary a lot because of this client may experience lot of glitches lot of freezing of videos may take place at the client side so this is a major drawback in udp so i hope this udp streaming is clear we have the next type of streaming that is http streaming which we have already discussed so in uh, http streaming like we have already discussed at the server side we have client uh, uh, sorry server tcp buffer send buffer and here you just note one point server will be always sending the data through a socket server socket right so through a server uh, connection socket i hope you all remember that connection socket is dedicated for a particular client so first the server sends the bytes to the socket server socket side or the server's connection socket side and for, you know from which the bytes will be sent out and at the receiving side again at the client side again client here receives the data through the client socket so there is socket that is implemented both at the server side and uh, client side for receiving and sending the data so via the socket he will receive the data and upon receiving the client's uh, bytes uh, received bytes will be sent to the applications uh, application buffer which is again maintained at the client side and once we have enough reserve there is the buffer maintained at the uh, client side the client can client can begin his play out right so usually we expect the sending rate to be higher suppose one small example if the sending rate is 1.5 mbps and if the play out rate here if the play out rate is 1 mbps 1 mbps which is less than the client uh, server sending rate okay server sending rate so here uh, there will be always see server has sent 1.5 mbps whereas uh, our uh, client is uh, playing only 1 mbps so still we have 0.5 mbps reserve in our buffer so still we have room for 0.5 mbps which is reserved in our uh, buffer so which is now uh, ready for the next play out so by the time we uh, client consumes this 1 mbps another we have already 0.5 mbps so another 1.5 mbps will come and sit here inside the receive buffer so another 0.5 mbps can be pushed on to the application playout uh, buffer so 0.5 plus 0.5 1 mb is now ready by the time client finishes first 1 mb data his watching once it is completed it is ready right so this is actually how the reserve is built in the http streaming and all that is happening here is with the uh, url request is sent and then the response http response is received okay so this is happening in uh, tcp and here moreover prefetching takes place okay so what is the meaning of prefetching here so prefetching is the one wherein uh, in advance you fetch the videos which fetch the frames or bytes of the video and maintain a reserve or maintain that in the buffer so this prefetching is very important which is happening in http streaming okay so these are the three things which you have to remember in http streaming and in detail we have already discussed in my previous video
okay and uh, moreover uh, uh, here uh, we have the interactivity also that is happening so what is interactivity client is able to interact through uh, uh, you know it can be play a button pause button fast forward button rewind button so all these are the interacting features that is available in http streaming and the example for http streaming application is youtube netflix and all that okay and moreover here in http streaming the range of bytes can be uh, requested so what is the meaning of range of bytes so range of bytes is something like suppose if the user wants to doesn't want to watch right from the beginning so he can always request for the range that he wants suppose if he wants to watch only in between the first um, in between the middle frames of the video so beginning he doesn't want to watch climax he doesn't want to watch in between only few part of the video he wants to watch so this type of option also is available in http streaming like we have all experienced that in youtube videos right so this middle frames middle set of frames any range of bytes can be requested right so what is the drawback of this uh, thing see whenever the range of bytes is requested by the user see the server would have already sent the bytes requested bytes requested bytes to the client side already he would have sent but the client is then requesting in his interaction is requesting for some range of bytes that is in between so already what the server has sent is waste right so the reserve what we built here in our buffer also is waste bandwidth also is wasted for carrying those reserve some uh, unnecessary unwanted uh, set of bytes so this range of bytes is always actually wasting the bandwidth wherein user wants only few portion but unnecessarily he is receiving some other portion of the bytes so that is a major drawback in http streaming so here we have the last type of streaming technique that is dash streaming technique dynamic adaptive streaming over http so the word dynamic adaptive is the one wherein it clearly says that it keeps on changing at runtime streaming keeps on changing at the runtime so what is the meaning of this changing over runtime so like we have already seen this interaction between server and client whatever is happening here uh, in this the bandwidth whatever is shared among the client and server it keeps on varying right so whenever i have less congestion in the network less congestion in the network more bandwidth is available for sending and receiving the bytes right so whenever there is more bandwidth available for the client to receive the bytes or the server to send the bytes definitely the play out at the client side will be without any freezing without any disturbance the play out continues whenever the bandwidth is high and like we have already experienced in youtube we have several versions of the video like hd version basic version medium version video all that right so we actually get a list of such uh, videos available in the youtube site so what is that list of versions client will be presented with the list of files same it is all of the same video file suppose if i want to watch a video on computer networks so different versions of that video same video is available so what is that version hd version basic version i like low version medium version high quality version right so all these links will be provided to the client so how and who is providing that server is providing youtube server is providing right so first actually here in dash type of streaming client is able to request for one separate special file and that special file you call it as manifest file you can see here it is a special file called manifest file what the client can request so this manifest file is the one which is actually providing you the list of urls list of links so client is now getting the list of links all these links of are of same file same video file what the client is requesting but what are those links that links is for hd version medium version and low version now client can click on to any of the version depending upon the bandwidth that is available but depending upon the congestion that is here in the network so whenever the congestion is high so low bandwidth is available in that case client is always opting can opt for low version of the video and the 
server will send you the low version of the same video suppose if after some time if the bandwidth increases that means congestion decreases in that case client can click on to the high version of the video so definitely server can send the high version of the video so this is actually interaction happening between the client and server through manifest file what the server is providing and uh, that is all happening at the runtime like it can keep on varying so dynamic version you can say and dynamic adaptive streaming over http so http is streaming only takes place but it is dynamic you can go for for different versions of the same file depending upon the bandwidth right so this is finally dash type of streaming which is actually implemented now in uh, youtube okay so these are the three types of streaming technique what we have i hope this is clear so you can all you can also call this dynamic as the intelligence that we have extra added intelligence that we have at the client side so client is now free to decide when what and where so what is when so what chunks can be requested when the chunks can be requested when in the sense whenever the congestion decreases or whenever the congestion increases that is uh, whenever there is uh, mm, the bandwidth more bandwidth is available so what has to be uh, uh, requested so what is nothing but whether low version medium version or high version of the video and then finally we have uh, uh, where the uh, requested chunks are available so these uh, requested chunks usually it will be available at the remote server youtube server right but what if that youtube server uh, remote server is very far from the client in that case again the client will experience a delay so usually the server should be close to the client so where in nothing but the requested chunk should be closer to the client or that server should be closer to the client so here then only the client will not experience much of delay so this is uh, these options are available here in the dash type of streaming